The Wasteland has a ton of different weapons to choose from, and one of the most fun and exciting to use would be the SMGs in the Fallout universe. Sadly, in Fallout 76, the SMGs aren't exactly top tier, but in this video, we're gonna dive into what I and most players consider to be the best SMG in Fallout 76. But hang on, stick around for a part two where we'll talk about what I think is the most underrated SMG in Fallout 76. And like I said today, we're going to be talking about the best SMG in Fallout 76, a fan favorite. You probably already guessed it. It is the Elder's Mark. A lot of players swear by this as the best SMG in the game, and honestly, I could see why. But before we get into why it's so special, let's talk about how you can get your hands on this bad boy. Now, you've got two ways to get the Elder's Mark. The first way, and the main way, probably the easiest way also, is just by completing the event Beast of Burden. This event pops up pretty frequently, and it's a pretty easy event. I mean, you could even solo it if you're pretty high level and you just don't have this gun yet for some other reason. So it's not the rarest gun in the game, but heads up, it's not a guaranteed drop, so you might have to run the event a few times before you get your hands on it. Good luck. I, though, constantly find this gun in my inventory from just when I'm event hopping and hanging out and everything like that, and I just check it and boom, it's fucking there after I complete a couple of Beast of Burdens. So the second way uh, is just obviously just buying it from play, uh, player vendors. Since it's not a super rare drop, you'll see plenty of players selling it, usually for a few hundred to a few or to a few thousand caps. Not too bad, but annoying if the event isn't popping up for you. So it's pretty easy to get relatively. It's one of the easier, unique weapons in the game to get your hands on. So Beast of Burden, check out that event if uh, if you don't have this gun yet, or just go ahead and uh, pl player vendor hop in from uh, players that have a lot of weapons in their vendor, a lot of three-star legendary weapons. Uh, that's an easy way to tell if they could be selling it, perhaps, or not, and then just uh, go ahead and hop servers until you find it. Now, let's get into what makes this SMG so damn special. The Elder's Mark is basically just a Tommy gun with a unique, beautiful skin, and it comes with three fantastic legendary effects. Let's talk about those right now. Now, up first, we've got the Furious effect, which, as you guys know, if you watch any of my other videos, has recently gotten a pretty strong buff and is actually now pretty usable, uh, but it's definitely not the best single star uh, effect that you could have on it, but the second star and the third star is where things really, really pick up for this gun and what makes it so unique. So, first star is the Furious legendary effect if you are a full health build, perfect for you. Now, the second star is where things get really fun, like I said. The increased fire rate. This makes the gun a fucking beast, and when you pair it with the third star, you got a little bit of synergy here, which is faster reload. You've got a match made in heaven, plus the 50 round drum mag, and this thing becomes an absolute monster for mowing down enemies. It has a super fast fire rate. You could basically empty the clip in one trigger pull, and then you also have a super fast reload, so you're constantly putting out bullets. And also, here's the kicker. Like I said, the furious effect isn't the best effect effect on this gun. You could re-roll the effects on this thing. As you'll see in my footage, I've swapped out the Furious effect for the Bloodied to squeeze even more DPS out of this thing because I'm running this on a Bloodied Vats character, and it shreds. I get why this gun is a fan favorite, and it's got so much going for it. Now, let's talk about a little secret that makes this gun even more insane. Well, the Elder's Mark has the Cursed effect. What the hell does that that even mean? Well, it gives the Elder's Mark an even faster base fire rate and a even higher base damage, but it comes with a catch. That's right, obviously, since it's a cursed item. It basically is the same thing of the, the Borderlands 2 cursed items. Uh, it basically just has a lower durability with two great trade-offs. I mean, you get higher damage and a uh, much higher fire rate, but a little lower durability, so it'll break more often. But if you got repair kits stacked up, or if you uh, just don't mind going to the workbench every hour or so, you're golden. I promise you this is a 
fantastic setup to have on this gun. The fire rate and then the extra damage paired with the last two legendary effects, the increased fire rate and the faster reload. Beautiful. This gun has so much synergy going for it, and I don't understand why Fallout 76 doesn't do this more often with unique weapons. This gun does it so beautifully. All right, let's get into the nitty gritty. Time to see this bad boy in action, and let's talk about the performance. As you could tell from the footage that has been playing in the background of this video, this thing tears through basic mobs like Scourge, Ghouls, and Super Mutants without a problem. The standard 45 ammo combined with that 50 round drum and the fast fire rate makes it an absolute joy to use for mobbing. Seriously, if you run a bloody build, I highly recommend changing that first star effect to bloodied. It just elevates the whole experience, and I mean, you could even throw an explosive on there because this thing naturally has a pretty high fire rate by itself, but if you're a full health player, the Furious effect is still a 110% solid choice. Definitely not bad. Now, against tougher enemies, as you could see in the footage, like be, uh, Death Calls, Behemoths, and then Grafton Monsters, it definitely holds its own. Don't get me wrong, it's no fixer, but it definitely doesn't struggle depending on your build. That said, for raid bosses like Scorch Queens or Earl, I'd recommend switching to your Railway Rifle. The Elder's Mark isn't the new king of DPS, obviously, but it's a damn good alternative and fun as hell to use. If you could one-shot enemies with your fixers or two-shot enemies with your fixers, uh, this thing definitely, it, it basically will be able to do the same thing. It will be able to kill super mutants in four or five shots and then basically every other mob in one or two shots. It, it, it really is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful gun and super fun to use for mobbing or just playing around. I definitely recommend it. So, with all of this being said, overall, if you haven't tried this gun out yet, do yourself a favor and give it a shot. It's not too hard to get, and you may even come across it without even trying. I know SMGs in Fallout 76 kind of suck, but this one, this one's genuinely different. Not only is it great for an SMG, but it's also just fun and as, as great as any other weapon in the game, really, that, that like, it's, I, you, I would definitely switch this out for, like, my handmaid, you know what I mean? Like, it could take the place of my handmaid, like, it's not, definitely not gonna be my main DPS gun, but it's, it's really, really nice, plus the skin, the creepy cultist writing, looks pretty fucking badass, if I don't say myself. Now, the Elder's Mark can handle most of the Wasteland's mob, and even go toe-to-toe -to -toe with some of the tougher enemies in the game, is the best gun in the game. Nah, not at all, honestly, obviously, but it's a blast to use, so try it out and let me know if it makes it into your weapon rotation. I, along with a lot of others, slept on this thing for a while until now, and thanks to the legendary crafting update, this gun really shines because you could just throw bloodied on it so easy, and it, it really makes a huge difference, and this gun just turns into, in my opinion, one of the best guns in the game. Not just one of the best SMGs, but one of the best guns in the game, and I regret not putting this on my best unique list video, because this thing definitely deserves to be on that list. And ladies and gentlemen, that's it for part one. Let me know in the comments what you think of the Elder's Mark. Is it a top tier SMG in Fallout 76 or is it just trash? What's your favorite SMG in the game? And as always, I just want to thank you motherfuckers for stopping by and checking out this motherfucking video. I will catch you all in the wasteland and stick around because in part two, we'll cover what I think and what a lot of players think is the most underrated SMG in Fallout 76. 76's history. Seriously, thank you guys so much for stopping by. I really, really, really appreciate it. Uh, the Elder's Mark wiki will be in the description uh, if you want to get a little bit more knowledge on the gun and if there's some information that I possibly missed in the video. But seriously, go ahead, check this gun out. It is really nice. The SMGs in Fallout 76 are normally trash, but this one, this one is a little different. It's not too bad. But seriously, Thank you guys so much for stopping by. I appreciate it so much. Stop sleeping on the SMGs in this game. Go out and try a different gun than the Fixer or Railway or Tesla rifle. You'll thank me later. Uh, real quick before the video ends, I just want to throw this on in here over some uh, footage. Uh, I've been appreci really appreciative of old support recently. Um, I am thinking about making a Discord uh, not only for this channel, but for Fallout 76 and for some upcoming games in general. So if you uh, would 
be interested in joining Mad, please let me know in the comments. I don't think it would be the worst idea in the world just to have a place where you could come and get some honest Fallout feedback or some honest uh, things about the updates that are going on because a lot of people out there that are uh, YouTubers are super, super just spitting over Bethesda because they give them a little bit of money. So, if you want to join the Discord, let me know, and I will think about making one. Thank you all so much for the support. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the wasteland.